Apple Vision Pro ready to bring VR, AR into mainstream? Apple's inaugural Vision Pro is slated for release in the first quarter of 2024. It's not just consumers who are eagerly awaiting. Many brands are closely monitoring the market response to the Vision Pro. Supply chain estimates indicate that if Vision Pro can achieve an annual shipment of 400,000 units, it would be considered a success signifying that VR, AR headsets have a future in the market. Otherwise, the market may not be ready and a wait-and-see approach would be necessary. Apple has positioned the Vision Pro as capable of both virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR. With a twist of the body dial, users can immerse themselves in a virtual world or quickly switch to a blended reality without being completely cut off from the real world, addressing past market concerns about VR's impracticality. Apple emphasizes the connection with the real world, such as maintaining interaction with others while wearing the device, or switching to eyesight mode to display the wearer's eyes when someone approaches. Furthermore, the operation of Vision Pro does not require a controller. It can be operated through gestures, eye movements, and voice commands. For example, eye tracking allows users to move the cursor simply by looking in the direction of the object, and with a 360-degree panoramic view, different windows can be stacked and dragged for multitasking. To this end, Vision Pro is equipped with 12 cameras, 5 sensors, and 6 microphones, along with Apple's newly developed visual effects chip R1. It's noteworthy that Apple calls this device a spatial computing device. It's Apple's first attempt to establish a 3D user interface and the first product to incorporate 3D lenses for capturing the view in front of the user and projecting it onto the screen, constructing a virtual reality. Overall, Vision Pro combines many new technologies with the aim of providing a new visual and interactive experience such as through its behavior sensing capabilities and spatial computing, shaping a new human computer interaction interface, HCI, that offers a more immersive and intuitive interactive experience. This is a revolution of the eye and mind. Industry rumors say that the Vision Pro supply chain started mass production in November 2023 to meet the stocking needs for the 2024 launch. The daily mass production and shipping of components can reach 2,000 units per day. Excluding holidays, the optimal annual production could reach 400,000 to 500,000 units. However, since this product series has not yet been launched and lacks a benchmark, some supply chains are more pessimistic, estimating annual shipments at 150,000 units. The pessimism of the supply chain stems mainly from the fact that the VR AR market is not yet mature and lacks killer applications. Content richness still needs to be enhanced in certain vertical markets such as education, healthcare, and entertainment. Moreover, although everyone who has tried the Vision Pro appreciates it, its high price of $3499 remains a significant barrier for consumers. Apple views Vision Pro as a heavyweight product. CEO Tim Cook has repeatedly stated that head-mounted devices will change the public's usage habits, and the subsequent development is very promising. However, this timeline is longer than the industry expected, and many manufacturers are exiting the market. ByteDance has recently been rumored to be abandoning the development of a new generation of VR devices. It is worth observing that ByteDance's VR device Pico had good sales in 2022, but performed poorly in 2023. New releases by Sony, Meta, and Apple have all impacted Pico sales. Rumors suggest Pico may face layoffs and will shift R&D resources to generative AI. However, Sony's PSVR 2 and Meta's Quest 3 launched in 2023 did not meet sales expectations. Sony's PSVR 2, launched in the first quarter of 2023, was initially estimated by the industry to reach 2 million units, but only 270,000 units were sold in the first quarter. As for Meta's Quest 3, market analysts point out that Meta originally estimated sales of 7 million units in the second half of the year, but the current estimate has been lowered to 2 to 2.5 million units. With the performance of various VR devices falling short of expectations, VR AR headset manufacturers are closely watching to see if Vision Pro can break the market curse. If sales boom, it also means there is still potential in the market. If it fails to reach the annual sales observation threshold of 400,000 units, it will prompt manufacturers who have already invested to reconsider their corporate resource allocation. However, even if Vision Pro fails to enchant, some industry players remain optimistic about spatial computing, which it represents, hoping it will bring a new user experience, including freeing up hand space and offering a broader spatial experience. Cook also says Vision Pro will usher in a new era of spatial computing for consumers. Given the high price of Vision Pro at $3499, most analysts believe that sales in the first year might only be in the hundreds of thousands and even Apple itself does not have high expectations for shipping performance. Therefore, 
Rumors have emerged that Apple is already developing a second-generation extended reality XR device, potentially named Apple Vision 1. According to XR Daily News citing Bloomberg, the reason for Vision Pro's high price is mainly due to the high component costs. A previously published bill of materials, BOM, showed that the three most expensive categories of components include a total of 12 cameras and 5 sensors, the M2 and R1 chips for computing, and internal and external displays supporting 4K resolution. The BOM indicates that the component cost of Vision Pro is about on $1,500 to $1,600, and the selling price is more than twice the cost, with a significant portion used to offset expenditures from R&D investments, marketing, and related costs. Based on this, the actual profit margin of Vision Pro may be lower than expected, or even just breaking even. German cites market sources saying that Apple will launch two XR products in 25, including a lower-end version called Vision One and a high-end upgraded Vision Pro 2, featuring higher performance and faster processors. German speculates that Apple may significantly reduce R&D and component costs for the second low-end product to launch a more affordable and mass-market product such as using lower quality displays, older chips like M1 or A16, and reducing the number of lenses. However, it is likely to maintain the eyesight feature, as it aligns with Apple's core vision of eliminating barriers in spatial computing. Moreover, costs can be further reduced in materials such as choosing non-aluminum alloy or glass designs or eliminating some speakers to allow users to use other Apple accessories like AirPods instead. Overall, even for the lower-end product, the price is not expected to drop to below $1,000, like MetaQuest Pro or even Quest 3. German even anticipates that the price of Vision 1 could still be as high as $2,500, remaining a high-priced item for a niche market. On the other hand, German also cites sources saying that Apple has announced a partnership with Zeiss to customize prescription lenses for Vision Pro users, priced at around $300 to $600. However, compared to Zeiss's collaborations with other VR device manufacturers, where custom prescription lenses are priced at only $70, Vision Pro's estimated price is more than four times higher. Thanks for watching.